here we have the iFlight Monkey X3 X 130 millimeter frame. Uh, this one's uh, one of the new mini frames from iFlyRC.com. Uh, they sent it in for review. Thanks for sending it. Uh, this one is uh, mainly for 1306 and 1407 size motors. They're using fairly thick main plate. Uh, this is around, I believe this is around four millimeters thick. Yeah, four millimeters, so very thick. So it's most likely going to be very durable and probably unbreakable uh, for this uh, size. You know, uh, not much weight on the on the once you build it. So with the four millimeter main plate, uh, it's going to be quite difficult to break. Uh, you'll have to try it really hard. And they give you all the bits and pieces. So some stickers uh, comes with this uh, nice uh, velcro strap for the battery and they give you all the all the hardware so it's pretty simple it only has this uh, it's basically just four plates uh, carbon fiber plates uh, the main plate which has the uh, the center and the arms all in one piece and this looks like it's drilled for 20 millimeter uh, electronics so the FC and the 4-in-1 ESC if you're gonna use that has to be uh, they gotta be uh, 20 millimeters so uh, anything larger won't fit uh, this is kinda like a cage so that goes there and it, it's held in place by um, by standoffs uh, going across here and uh, they use a capture nut you put a nut right there and then just kind of screw it from the bottom uh, through there so pretty interesting uh, way uh, of assembling so we'll see how that works uh, and uh, we'll see how durable it is in crashes uh, especially on when you uh, apply forces this way, so hopefully that that holds. Uh, we'll see how it does. Uh, I'm sure uh, people will be reporting if there's any issues with that. So uh, seems pretty easy to assemble. So I'll go ahead and assemble it real quick, and uh, so we'll see what it looks like assembled. And uh, just notice, I guess this is what they call it, monkey. So as you can see the silhouette right here. Uh, so there it is after uh, getting assembled. Uh, you end up with a, a lot of spares, uh, spare screws and nuts. And even an extra spare standoff. So uh, that's pretty good. I don't know how you're going to break that, but uh, anyway, there it is. And uh, just the frame by itself, it's supposed to weigh in at 45 grams. So let's see what it weighs. Uh, it says 48.4 here. So slightly higher than, than advertised. So I imagine uh, differences in 
thickness of the plates or whatever so so a little bit heavier uh, so it is a little bit heavy uh, frame for its size uh, mainly due to the four millimeter plate uh, the main plate with the arms that's where a lot of the weight is so uh, the one thing though is that it it, it probably ve be very hard to break so this uh, because of the, of the weight I think this would do better with 1407 motors and 3 inch props tri blades or 4 blade props and 4S battery so probably like a, a 700 or to even a thousand 4S battery so that's probably what the, what this is going to fly best with a uh, little bit heavy not the lightest frame but it certainly is uh, it feels feels pretty pretty solid uh, like almost like it would be impossible to break since it's so small it probably just tumble but you know I'm sure if you hit it hard enough it, it, it'll break uh, but uh, it's gonna it's gonna be quite hard to break this frame uh, so here it is pretty much uh, all built up I just need to I do need to solder the wires for the motor and uh, camera, power supply, VTX, and receiver. I'm just gonna use a generic uh, uh, Banggood uh, Mini 5.8 receiver uh, transmitter, and uh, the XM Plus FR Sky, and this one's a uh, Roncan Micro. So I'll be using that one. And uh, I put uh, the Force IF1407 3500KV. These are also from iFly RC. I've tested them uh, recently and they did pretty good. So I'll give them a try on this one. Uh, they've also sent the 4100KV, but uh, I'll try the 3500KV first and then I'll try these guys and see. Uh, pretty good to compare, I guess. See how these, uh, how these work. Uh, so pretty easy to um, to build up actually uh, oh I'm also using this power cube is a an F4 FC this one's also from myflyrc.com I'm gonna be reviewing it uh, pretty soon in a different video and I believe this is an 18 amp ESC 4 in 1 and it's all integrated I do think this has a built-in OSD, uh, the uh, the micro F4 FC. So that you know that makes it really easy to to uh, to build. Uh, pretty tight. Uh, so you have to be uh, careful about the uh, the overall height. I had to use uh, some. Uh, I used the screws that uh, came in with the frame, but. Uh, I've uh, kind of uh, cut some of these uh, nylon standoffs, so I cut those to. I had to cut them to a, uh, so that the height was about uh, about 4.2 millimeters. So any anywhere from 4 to 4.2 millimeters, uh, you need to to ha to have this height so that it doesn't so that it clears right there. So. Yeah, pretty tight build, but o overall, it it goes in pretty well. So, so with all this stuff, uh, of course, I don't have the antenna yet. So, with all of these and without the battery, let's see what it weighs. That includes the uh, some extra long wires there. So, it's uh, not not that light, but it'll be all right. 151 grams so about 151 grams uh, all built up so without the battery so if you get, if you get a battery just under 100 grams you can have it uh, just under 250 grams in case that a FAA rule comes that you have to register uh, that rule went away but you never know so this this should be fun to uh, to fly at the at the small parks. 
Alright, uh, that's the uh, review for the iFlyRC.com monkey frame. Thanks for watching, and until the next video.